In this second lesson of Excel, I want to unleash Excel's true potential, and its potential is to manipulate data, work with data, and calculate very, very quickly. So first of all, we need to enter some data into some cells here. So I'm just going to enter some random numbers. Just do use autofill to fill these up. So we have a, a column of numbers here, and it'd be a really good opportunity for us to um, add them together. So we're going to put the total in here. And what we want to do is we want to add them up. And to do that, you really need to use the um, function bar. Now, every single Excel uh, function starts with the equal sign. So you click on equals, and you'll notice that as soon as we clicked on the equal sign, the cell address disappeared, and the last used formula appeared. If you click on this cell here, you can see here the word sum. Sum means it's going to allow us to, to add up that, that column of numbers. So click on sum, and a uh, wizard help pops up here. Let's get rid of this. And you can see that, in fact, what Excel has done is it's decided that you, you, you want to add up all the numbers in the range from A1 to A8. Now, nine times out of ten, that's probably exactly what you want to do. But just to make sure you choose the numbers that you wish to choose, you can click in the first cell and drag all the way down to the last cell and you get what's known as the marching ants arounding or bordering the area of the cells that you actually want to count, calculate up. And you can see that the numbers change from A1 and the colon means the range. It means the range of num cells from A1 to A7. And when you're happy with that, click OK. And you can see straight away that the answer appears in here uh, in the cell A9 but if we actually look, actually what the data Excel sees in A9 is the formula. So that's what's underlying that number there. And the great thing about this, of course, is that you can now go in and change that data. And let's make it 60.5, and you can see the total changes at the bottom there. We can also, let's put in something like, um, and press Enter and it changes. So once you've created the formula you can you can change the data just like on the um, graph and you can change it really quickly. So that's 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 a really useful tool. We can also use another tool um, in, in here so it, it, we're going to put what we want to do now is another um, we want to find out the average of these numbers. So, so in here we want again over here we start in our formula with an equal sign and Again, if we come down here, we can see the average formula. Click on average, and Excel is trying to calculate these numbers here. So we did the cell, that's correct. Click OK, and we have an average. But you look what we see here, you can see that it's made an average to five decimal places, and we actually want to change that to make it to two decimal places. In fact, we want to make it all look the same. So if we highlight the text, we can actually go into format and into cells and we can click on number here and we can select the number of decimal places. You can make that as more or less as you wish to, but you know, two decimal places is fine. And click OK and you can see how this all now has been made to to two decimal places. If this were currency, we could go back to format and we could um, cells and instead of choosing uh, number we or we could choose currency and you can choose which currency you want and there's a whole range so if we want uh, dollar New Zealand dollar I'll just stick with dollar right there you go click OK and if you want to do currency you can see here you can do it in negative numbers or debt in in red we'll click OK and now all of a sudden our numbers have been changed so um, Excel's got a very powerful tool for you to create um, formulas with. And one other one I want to show you is, I, and there, there are, I, and I want to show you really because I want you to um, see the kind of things. We want to. You can have a column of data, and you could get it to um, count how many instances it finds of the same number or the same object. It doesn't matter what it is. It, you just sit it, sort it out. But I need to show you. I want to show you the syntax. So in this cell here, we're going to count how many times we can see the number 89. So again, all formulas start with an equal sign. 
and we're going to click on the count if. Now I've used this before, but you, if you can't find it, you need to click on more functions. And in here are all the inbuilt functions that um, have been preloaded into Excel, and there's a lot of them. And they've all organized in certain in certain gr and grouped in certain ways, but they're all listed in alphabetical order. So if we go to count if, click OK. And this works with this. You can click the range, which is um, the, um, the uh, marching ants. Look in these this particular area of cells, and the criteria is what to look for. So we want to click here, and we want to look for 89. Click OK. And now what it's done is it's found one instance of 89. But if I change that 111 to 89 it goes up and everything changes so basically this cell will patrol that range of columns and it's a really really good um, tool and what I want you to look at really is the syntax you use brackets colons and commas um, and you can really build up some very complex um, equations if you do that so let's just delete all of this and let's try and build some of our own formulas now obviously the simplest one is to multiply two cells together so let's just put a figure in here 34 and 45 and if we want to multiply those together you can do that again starting with the equal sign and then now you can click things together and um, so you click on here we want to multiply this cell and the operating sign for multiply in Excel is the asterisk by this cell press enter and it's worked it all out for us and so you can build your own own formula up um, and you can start creating um, all kinds of different formula and it's a really it, it's a really good way to start exploring what you can do with Excel start with the built-in functions then start building your own functions and but lastly, you need to know what the operators are, so I'll type them in here for you. Um, I won't let me do that. Asterisk is um, multiply, forward slash is divide, and then the plus and the minus signs obviously are plus and minus. And you use the brackets, so you can use the various um, um, bod mass um, rules to create your own set of formula. And I think really that's about it for the moment.